What's up guys, this is Hank Saber giving you guys a Teller Knight deck profile here for the November 2015 format and uh, it'd be a rather quick deck profile because my tripod is really holding on by a piece of tape and I can't even exaggerate that a little bit. My camera kind of broke and so it's kind of being held together by a piece of tape. I can't even describe it but nonetheless this is what I'd be playing for the um, 2015 format as far as uh, Teller Knights go and so I finally picked up the deck over the summer and never really compiled a list that was really worth showing you but this I guess is somewhat decent so let me show you what I have while the camera still lasts. So, anyway, um, going to the obvious ones, uh, three Deneb, obviously your searcher, this will make um, your your life a lot easier, getting this out on the board, just giving you free pluses, um, Altair, obviously getting you to Deneb most of the time, um, and then of course, uh, two Uniculi, uh, sent to the grave, and two Vega, all self-explanatory, super standard, I mean, I don't think this lineup has changed since Duelist Alliance, Alliance even came out, so, um, there's that, um, just the one, Thunder King is really getting into the Magic Spectre, uh, matchup and against Cosmos they have to get farm girl over this to win so there's that um and then two ghost ogre and snow rabbit I am playing emergency teleport to accommodate this and make some synchro plays in the deck so that's it for the monsters um onto the spells um three upstart goblin uh, just one consistency now that road is at one. Um, I'm not playing Skybridge right now, so this is like our consistency um, fill in, I guess, for the deck. And then I'm playing three space, finally picked up three ghost rare space typhoon, and uh, of course, two ultimate rare uh, Etelis to get at your ghost ogres. We're just playing black rose, it's all we're playing is the synchros, and so we just want to make that black rose now that exiting night is gone. So there's that. Um, two instant fusion just to bring back stuff, recursion, and whatnot, and one row. Um, all super super standard now that it's at one um, for the trap there's a lot of them we'll go through it pretty quick though uh, three stellar nova alpha of course this is your solemn judgment of the deck okay uh, we have two copies of call of the haunted uh, again more recursion along with instant fusion is pretty good uh, two mind crush um, I think this is kind of like what the deck needs a little element of surprise now it's like a stu super super um, predictable deck so I feel like mind crush was like a good um, card to counter your opponent. And then two Phoenix Chain, these will absolutely be replaced by, um, I forgot what it's called. Uh, not Mind Crush, there's uh, Memory Loss. Memory Loss is a card uh, when your opponent activates uh, an effect, negate it, and send it to uh, defense position, which is a lot better than this because it doesn't target, and so I'm going to play that. But um, these would probably come back in in a format that wasn't just Magic Spectre and Cosmos. So uh, maybe against Pepe is decent. So um, there's that. Um, Vanity's Emptiness, good, still, Torrential, really good in a Pendulum format. Bottomless, really good in a Pendulum format. Psalm. Another good card against Pendulums, and then of course, uh, I would play two Storming and one Mirror Forest if I added a second Storming, but uh, we're going with the two Mirror Forest and one Storming, so that's the main deck. And then the extra deck, um, one Delta Rose, because it's really good getting rid of, po rid of po problematic cards, uh, if I could say that right. Uh, two Trevere, um, just really good, that's not a Trevere, here's a Trevere, uh, two Trevere just to get rid of... Uh, Problematic boards really good against Cosmos, sending cards back to the hand. Uh, one Ptolemaeus to lead into one Diamond to lead into one Pleiades. Um, then playing Excalibur and Rognomniad, uh, just really good to get over Dark Destroyer and just to lock your opponent out if you have five on the board. Uh, Emerald to bring back stuff sometimes if you have Italian hand, both Ghost Ogres in the graveyard, it'd be good to send them back to the deck. Um, other things, um, so. This card is just a good card in general. Uh, one Castell, one Dweller is really good against Cosmos, uh, and Pepe, of course, and uh, Tsukiyomi just to get rid of problem, bad hands, and uh, Cowboy is just good to burn your opponent out for game. And then finally, one Black Rose for the e Tally Ghost Ogre uh, to replace the Exit Tonight, and uh, one Norden for Instant Fusion. So, anyway, guys, that's the deck profile. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's really not too much. You know, you can never be, like, too creative with this deck. Like, you could, you could test certain cards, like Birdman. Um, like, 
again, not too much else that you can test. Uh, I might main deck Cyber Dragons if Cosmos really become a problem, but I don't think they should because you have, um, you should you should have uh, Trevair for days against them. So anyway, guys, it's not a deck that I fancy myself playing for the upcoming format. I am playing another deck that's kind of off the wall, but I'll profile that in two weeks from now or so, two weeks time. But uh, anyway, guys, um, this is a kind of a cool deck if you want to pick up a deck for somewhat cheap and uh, play competitively, especially if you're new newer to the game. It's really simple to pick up and uh, most of it's high rarity, so that's good. So anyway, guys, uh, that's my deck profile for Teller Knights with November 2015 format uh, going into the month of December. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Peace, guys. Deuces.